On the screen is another capture of the International Space Station earlier this afternoon, local tide flying up towards the West Pack. Welcome to another update via the Force 13 Australia Asiana channel on behalf of the main channel where the tropical weather scene continues to ramp up. This is the life of Typhoon's 17W of Shan Shan up to a few hours ago. And whilst we have a look at the satellite imagery of the uh, typhoon, the Japanese Meteorological Agency has in place some local warnings for heavy rainfall, um, flooding, and in some areas the ground is starting to soften up. And we'll have a look at those areas under the localised uh, warnings towards the end of this update. We also have 93W, 95W, 96W and 17W central pressure at this point in time is around 960 millibars. Twenty six decimal five degrees north, one forty six decimal two degrees east. Uh, movement three thirty five degrees at nine knots. And maximum uh, sustained winds eighty knots, gusting a hundred. And that is over open water. And the information is from the Joy Typhoon Warning Center and two eighty four nautical miles east northeast of UA2 and it's mentioned tracking north northwest at nine knots and wave height is 28 feet to a typhoon warning center's current chart and preceding this chart will be the NOAA floaters. Multispectral satellite imagery showing a symmetric system with an embedded center and a 90, 89 gigahertz image showing convection wrapping around the low level circulation the initial intensity of 80 knots is based on various bits of information sources for and current intensity T4.5. Now dry air is currently causing or preventing further intensification of the system despite 10 to 15 knots vertical wind shear. Now, total precipitable water, precipitation, pivotal weather website. This is of the Asian region. Scales at the bottom of the screen. And it's the area in yellow and dark brown. Sea surface temperature remains healthy. 28, 29 degrees Celsius. And 17W continues to track along the western periphery of a north-south oriented Subtropical ridge. Within 72 hours or at the 72 hour mark, 17W will continue a northwest with to northwest track 
along the western periphery of the steering ridge. The upper level divergence is around 30 knots, wind shear really isn't an issue. The 24 hour shear tendency, you can clearly see where the Shan Shan is located. We will continue to bring the latest information on this uh, typhoon and as mentioned uh, the tropical sea has other systems and tropical tidbits uh, here's one track the 72 hours mark uh, typhoon 17w is forecast to track northeast accelerate and begin gradually or gradual transitioning into an extra tropical cyclone and there's high uncertainty with the timing of that northeasterly turn now this is the warning area uh, by the JMA. Stay tuned to the main channel and finally here's the JMA's track chart on the Typhoon. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com which has had a revamp and is still under reconstruction, but take a look. Also YouTube of course, if you haven't subscribed that might be a good idea, visit Force 13. We're also on Facebook under the same name of course, and you can like us on there and you can also follow us on Twitter, search Force 13 all in text for those. You can also add Force 13 on Skype or my personal account on Discord, Fool 13 at extension 9094.